Valentine's Day is a day for lovers, and Cardi B and Offset have celebrated all the major holidays together since announcing their split in December. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Cardi B and Offset parted ways after a nasty breakup that occurred the previous year. The Badak Yellow singer went viral on Twitter, allegations that Offset had strayed began to circulate online, and more. This is when things got messy. Supporters were certain that the two of them were permanently split apart because of how tumultuous, to put it mildly, the situation was. The ex-couple wasn't initially seen as having a nice relationship, but Cardi disclosed in January that the two had gotten together on New Year's Eve. Naturally, this confused people, even though she maintained at the time that she was still very much single. She has since gotten back together with Offset to have yet another, more romantic holiday. The two appeared to be out on a date when they went to Carbone in Miami Beach earlier this week. Seemingly trying to conceal their presence together, they went into the restaurant one at a time. Ultimately, they departed simultaneously, shortly after midnight, but no PDA was seen. As anticipated, reports that they are once more dating have been further stoked by their apparent Valentine's Day celebration. Cardi has been vocal about another high-profile romance, even if she hasn't recently disclosed anything about her current relationship status. Before the Super Bowl, she revealed her support for Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, describing them as cute. The two stayed booked for the same location on New Year's Eve and celebrated Christmas together in spite of the drama. Videos of the two having a good time together have gone viral online, suggesting that the night was <laughs> most recent events, fans are unsure of how to react. Some revisited a conspiracy notion that surfaced following the initial discovery of their Instagram unfollows. There is no concrete proof to support the theory that they were creating turmoil to draw attention away from Nicki Minaj's just-released album Pink Friday 2. But Cardi's relationship wasn't the center of attention. She also gave a preview of some new music that night. <laughs> Cardi has been hinting at a potential 2024 release date for her album, which has long been anticipated by fans. Huh? Did I confirm anything? Shut the fuck up! She said. Fucking delete my whole fucking social media, cause y'all don't shut the fuck up! And it's the same fucking dumb my own fucking fan base. The last time I got dragged was because my fucking fan base. I don't see nobody talking shit but my own fucking fan base. She continued, y'all heard something out of my mouth. Did y'all heard that I'm back with a nigga out my mouth? No! Shit is fucking annoying. For fucking three days, y'all been doing the same shit! Cardi B liked a social media post that refuted rumors that her and her divorced husband, Offset, are back together. The two reportedly got back together after seeing a Travis Scott concert, according to the pop feed, which is when the move occurred. Cardi B has officially took Offset back after 12 days, the report on social media reads. They were both spotted at Travis Scott's concert tonight in New Jersey. In response, blogger Ken Barbie posted a clip of Candy Burris exclaiming you just made that up. You just made that up! From Love & Hip Hop, Atlanta. Cardi B liked the reply, seemingly confirming the lack of a reconciliation. Cardi first confirmed that she and Offset were done during a live stream on Instagram on December 10th. I, I've been single for a minute now. That is correct, really. Following their breakup, Cardi B considers herself to be a single lady. Regarding the rumors per se, Cardi expressed her doubts about their veracity. But I feel like today has been like a sign that I've been Nevertheless, she is unmarried, so it doesn't really matter if it's true or not. She said that she didn't really know how to handle things at the moment, which is why she never made a statement about any of it. I didn't know how to tell you, so I was like, I changed my mind. Nevertheless, she reasoned that since Blueface had been exposing everything, this would be as good of an opportunity as any to simply be honest about what was happening. Offset himself seemed to approve of the first rumor that Cardi was unmarried, as seen by the post on the Neighborhood Talk. Naturally, he is also verifying the information. For a short while, Cardi B and Offset got back together for the holidays. It seems that the action was taken to minimize the inconvenience to their kids' vacation. Cardi shared a series of videos on Instagram with her children unwrapping gifts. Fans soon discovered, though, that Offset was also there, assisting Wave in opening some of his presents. But this happened only a few days after Cardi loudly yelled for everyone to hear in the club. The newly divorced couple's motivation for taking care of their children is evident, and it is obvious that they have not reconciled. Their split is still an ongoing story. Meanwhile, Cardi's aforementioned club outing led Charleston White to declare that he no longer wants to date the rapper. Baby, I don't want to go on a date with Cardi B no more. She out in the club saying, my baby dad. Dad. Oh, That's not her baby daddy, that's her husband. Why would a woman who be wronged by her husband go be wrong? She was dignified when they were together, why she can't be dignified now? She's somebody. Why you want to go back and be a ratchet? The raggedy bitch in the hole with your ass out. White said to his wife. After learning of Cardi's breakup from Offset, White first showed a great deal of interest in dating her. However, this enthusiasm has since reversed. Right, I fuck with Amigo. He began. But why I sure like to go on a date with Cardi B? She's fair game now.
White went on, asking the hitmaker directly if he could take her out sometime soon. Well, why should I like to go on a date with Cardi B? Cardi B, can I take you out? Listen, we can do a metaverse date. You go to a restaurant, I go to a restaurant clearly. White's willing to do whatever it takes to hit it off with the NYC native. I used to want 12 gold teeth for Crip. I don't want 12 gold teeth no more. I want a three hour conversation with Cardi B. She's yet to respond to the offer. It does look like the performer's looking to start fresh amid the split. However, it's unlikely to be with Charleston White. After they recently split up, Cardi B has attacked her former spouse Offset. Bongo's artist gave the Migos rapper a tongue lashing on Friday, December 15th, on X, the previous Twitter platform. At Offset YR and you a test, and trust me a m take it there. She fired off in her initial tweet. As we'll try you when you at your lowest and your most vulnerable time you out here feeling yourself but trust me the tables turn, she added in a separate post later. Cardi went on Instagram Live and continued to vent her frustrations on Offset, calling him out for treating her dirty and not being appreciative of her help. I really don't like doing the internet shit. You need to stop calling me. She vented. Cause you will fucking talk to a nigga and a motherfucker will play in your fucking face. It's over and, and over and over again. Watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say. And, and it's so fucking sad that it they like to play games with me. When I'm at my most vulnerable time. When I'm when not the most confident. They like to play games with me because he knows I'm not an easy girl. Yesterday, I could have been out, I could have been chilling, I could have been this and that. He knows she added, he knows I'm in my house. And he knows I'm not doing the most. And I've really been sparing you. You've been feeling yourself because of your album and you really been fucking doing me dirty after so many years that i helped your ass not even a fucking thank you that i got for your bitch ass that's it for today thanks for watching tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe see you